my perfect sweet angels. I keep seeing videos on my feed that are like what I would repurchase immediately if I were to hypothetically lose my entire wardrobe overnight. And I keep thinking, oh my God, that is such a good video idea. But unfortunately, Instagram and TikTok have rotted my brain to the point where I can't watch a full YouTube video in its entirety in one sitting. So all of that to say, I haven't watched any of those videos in their entirety, but I love to talk. And I thought I have a lot of things to say about this for myself. I think it's a really interesting video idea and I wanted to give my two cents on it. In like approaching this concept, I'm kind of thinking about two things in particular. One is like things that I wear the most because I feel like the things that I would repurchase immediately are just like things that I wear every day. And the second thing I'm thinking about is whether or not I would have purchased these things if they were not trendy. Basically like, did I have to be convinced by society that this thing was cool? For example, like what I have liked this thing five years ago or 10 years ago. Is there a point in my life previously where I was kind of into this aesthetic? And just before we begin, I'm gonna give two examples of that. The first one is that even though coquette is like a new term, I would say that I have been into this style for like a while. Just because like, for example, in 2012, I had a Tumblr that was like a pale pink, shabby chic blog. I think that's similar enough where I feel confident that like, I just like things that are pink. I would repurchase things that would technically be considered considered like coquette or just like trendy right now because I feel like I've been into that aesthetic before. Example of an aesthetic that I kind of had to be convinced that it was cool or like see it in action before I was like, oh, I get it, was the Y2K aesthetic because I'm getting more into it and I like wearing the Y2K aesthetic. I don't know if Y2K things would be like the first thing that I would repurchase if that makes sense. Anyway, with all of that in mind, the first thing that I would probably immediately repurchase if I were to lose my entire wardrobe would be cute but simple socks. Even like 10 years ago, I loved having cute like statement socks. Although back then I will admit they were kind of like cringy and they all had like a joke on them and they would be like, girls just want to have fun to mental human rights. They were all kind of corny, but now when I say cute but simple socks, I literally mean cute, but like they have a bow on them. Or like a ruffly hem as like a concrete example of a brand that I would probably repurchase from. They're kind of expensive, but Urban Outfitters has honestly always kind of popped their corporate P word in terms of having cute socks. <laughs> so I honestly would probably splurge on another pair. And I thought because this is a YouTube video, I could do a little show and tell. The first example I have are these ones. How incredibly precious. These ones are from Urban Outfitters. Urban Outfitters also brought these gorgeous sweeties into my life. There's like a huge piece of lint on them. That's cool. And then in terms of like a more accessible version of this trend, I just love these ones. And they're from Amazon, I think. I'm going to admit it, but um, they have just like a lettuce hem and then this simple bow. Like these go with everything. They just have a little touch that says like, I considered my socks. My life is put together. The next thing that I would probably repurchase almost immediately is much more specific. And it is this pair of like bloomer sweatpants from Strawberry Western. By the way, look at the bottom of them. Have you ever seen cuter like sweatpants or joggers in your life? Also, the back pocket is shaped like a heart. I fucking love these. And by the way, I like live in these sweatpants. My boyfriend calls them like my cartoon character outfit. I'll be totally honest with you, that leads me to kind of not washing them enough per wear because I'm literally always in them. So like, when would I wash them? I got these at a sample sale for like $40, which is kind of a lot for sweatpants, but they're originally like a hundred something, I think. So I felt totally fine spending 40 on them. And honestly, the cost per wear for me at this point, I got them like a year ago, probably worn them 340 days at least of the last year. I just changed out of them for this video because I love them so much. So yeah, I would probably repurchase these like in a heartbeat. I get so much wear out of them that it would be very silly not to repurchase them if I lost everything. Another thing that I would repurchase a version of would be a Peter Pan colored shirt because look, I watched 500 Days of Summer at a very pivotal point in my development for better or worse. And by that, I mean definitely for worse. I'm just doomed to a lifetime of buying Peter Pan colored shirts uh, forever and ever. So I would probably immediately replace the ones I have. I have this beautiful, 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 beautiful one. And it is this delightful Peter Pan color shirt from Sandy Liang. I've had this for a little over a year, I wanna say, but the details on this shirt are absolutely insane. For example, on the back, I don't know if you can see, there's like a very, very, very dainty, like little bow, almost like monochrome embroidery situation. And then there's also like this like embossed bow on each of the collars. I made a reel about this recently, but I am a girl who loves to tuck her shirt in. That being said, this shirt sits 
just at the right point at the hem of my pants or skirt or whatever I'm wearing where I don't need to tuck it in and it's like still comfortable if that makes sense. Everything that I want in a shirt and more and I know that I would have liked this at literally every point in my life, basically. And I've thrifted some that also bring me a similar amount of joy. It's something that I would absolutely repurchase and actually have repurchased multiple times because I want to have them in multiple sizes and lengths and colors are these anthropology pants, which like, I'm not a huge anthropology girl. Like, I feel like I sound like a millennial saying this with all due respect, but I love the Maeve Colette jeans from anthropology so much this is what they look like they kind of look like frumpy because i wear them every day and i haven't washed them in like a week or two but they have these lovely sailor pockets and this huge button a very long rise and the feeling of most jeans and most denim on my body makes me want to and not to be dramatic die from sensory overload the Maeve colette jeans from anthropology are just delightful and feel so good on my body and i feel like they're so cute and go with so much i think that they are by default like a cropped pair of jeans but because it's anthropology and because there's like so many varieties that you can get every piece in because i'm like 5 8 the tall version just looks like a normal pair of pants on me like they're not cropped on me yeah i would absolutely repurchase the Maeve the colette pants in the tall version and if you follow me on instagram or even on here you might be under the impression that i wear dresses truly every day of my life but actually i wear the Maeve the colette jeans almost every day of the year the next thing that i would repurchase because i would truly miss them forever if i didn't have them this pair of glasses they're the karen walker alec blue light glasses although i get my prescriptions put in them and i've been getting my prescriptions put in them for like three years now and i don't plan on stopping anytime soon unless they break when they have to stretch the glasses to put the new lenses in these are like the only pair of glasses that i've ever worn that i feel like are adding something to my outfit rather than being like a pain in the ass because i'm like these aren't even adding to the vibe of my outfit slash they're detracting from the outfit like i feel like these actually like look intentional i have these in a green color as well and i have them as like a backup pair of glasses in case I like sit on these or something and break them. The only thing I will say is that they slide down my face every five seconds. I'm forced to push them up every five seconds um, accordingly. If you've watched my videos before, you may or may not have noticed that I just like am pushing them up constantly. But I am a little bit self-conscious about it because whenever I do it, I'm like, actually like that's how i feel i don't know what that says about my self-image but i feel like such a dweeb every time i push them up i don't feel like a dweeb for having glasses but i do feel like a dweeb because i have to push them up all the time does that make sense another thing that i would deeply miss and would have to repurchase if i lost my wardrobe would be just like a cute little dainty everyday heart locket necklace this one i got the charms at a vintage store and then i got the chain at the chelsea flea market and then i just like attached them with jump rings from my local facebook by nothing group shout the fuck out it's like a pretty easy diy just because i feel like they're so timeless and so romantic and just signal that i'm wearing my heart on my sleeve even when my mind is in the gutter i would also pretty quickly repurchase a comfortable pair of mary janes i've been a mary jane girly pretty much every day since like maybe 2020 or 2019 for a while i was wearing ones that didn't offer very much in the way of support but now I have a bone spur in my heel and I really prioritize comfort. For example, I would probably repurchase a pair of Allegria shoes. I actually got this one for free because I bought these with my own money and then wouldn't shut the fuck up about them on Instagram. So they sent me these ones and that was very nice. So comfortable and I would repurchase them in a heartbeat. They're so cute and go with everything. So yeah, a comfortable pair of Mary Janes. The last part of the video is gonna be like a speed round. I'm just gonna like kind of say quick bullet points about everything because I have kind of not that much to say about these. Another thing I would try to find a similar version of is this white cardigan. It has a bunch of holes in it. It's very lightweight. Um, but I think it just goes with everything. The texture of this adds sort of like a dimension of interest, I guess. No matter what I'm wearing, it sort of just like makes it that much more grandma core, whether or not it's like contemporary or it's vintage. It just kind of adds a layer of like, I own a shit ton of cookie jars, which is always something I'm going for. Similarly, this is also vague and it wouldn't have to be an exact dupe, but I would also probably repurchase some floral thermal long sleeve shirts for the winter. I've kind of thrifted basically everyone that I have, but I just think that they go with fucking everything in the winter and they're so easy to throw on. They're so like cozy looking and similarly grandma core. And I feel like it's hard to find things that are simultaneously dainty and keep you warm in the winter. There's a lot of things that like in theory, I would love to repurchase if I lost my whole wardrobe, like my Betsy Johnson Y2K fruit dress that I found at the Goodwill bins that I won't shut the fuck up about. And like, to, like specific graphic t-shirts and like specific day dresses and things. But realistically, these are the things that I think I could not only 
actually find dupes of or replacements for, but also that I actually wear all the time because there's some things where I'm like, oh my God, I would miss that so much, but it's like, how often do I really wear that, you know? Oh so yeah, I hope this was like interesting and I was gonna say thought provoking, girl, get a grip. I hope this was at the very least entertaining and hopefully I'll see you around in another video. Bye.